anytime you fight these young guys, it's risky. They don't carry the name value. They don't carry the cachet. They don't, they're not the people that usually walk into the arena to see. Very soon, we will get the new number one contender for the undisputed lightweight championship of the world's best league. The new rising star of the promotion in the face of Armin Sarukian will test himself in the fight against the Brazilian Nightmare. On April the 13th, at the anniversary UFC 300 event, Charles Oliveira will take on another challenge in an attempt to get back what was his not that long ago. And our duty is to watch this epic fight promo to boost our anticipation prior to the set event. Please don't forget about the likes, comments with four words and subscribe to the channel. Here we go! And I want to say, I beat now the guy who has 19 winning streak, 5 and all in UFC, you know. Not a lot of guys know him, but he's the toughest fight. He's tougher to open it. He's tougher than someone in top 5. It's like 100%. In fact, careers of both of these fighters have one thing in common. Besides being the masters of their craft, each of them faced Islam Makachev at a certain point of their journey and lost to him in a fair fight. It happened to Arman back in April of 2019. At that moment, he had a record of 13-1 and, and just recently signed a contract with the world's best league. The game plan for the fight is to win. That's my tactic. Of course, we will work based on what's happening in the fight and we will see how things go down. There will be a lot of wrestling and striking. I mean, it won't be boring like wrestling, wrestling, wrestling and that's it. Like, there is going to be everything. A complete MMA fight. I will utilize everything. If I don't succeed with wrestling, I will fight on the feet. If striking doesn't work out, I will take the fight to the ground. His debut performance ended with a unanimous decision loss due to the fact that the Dagestani happened to have more experience which helped him to outwork the prospect. After that, Sarukian had to fight through the wilds of the lightweight division with sweat and blood to get noticed by the matchmakers. Yeah, thank you so much. Of course, it's great to have the victory. Uh, he wasn't pleased with his performance, but he's going to grow and change the mistakes that he made in the fight to show more impressive fights in the future. In the next two and a half years, the Armenian fighter earned five convincing victories and got an opportunity to fight another rising contender, Matush Gamrot. As history taught us, this fight did not end in favor of Arman. Luckily, it didn't affect his mindset at all and the prospect returned to the winning path already at the end of 2022. 2023 and the end, I want to fight uh, like lightweight title. I want to get the title, you know, it's my dream. And uh, when I wake up every day, I think just, um, I think about that belt, you know. After that, Sarukian finished Joachim Silva and in December of 2023, he knocked out Benil Dariush, who for the last couple of years has been moving towards the title fight as well. Yeah, definitely. This is the best uh, like case scenario what I was thinking. This is the best. Uh, I thought like I got to go there, I got to perform, so I got to knock him out in the first round and then I can ask about title fight. You know, if I want him like uh, barely, you know, like decision, oh, like the people going to say, Charles, like knock him out. How you can like be on the lane? But now you guys like I knock him out uh, faster than Charles and Charles already already had that uh, opportunity to fight for the title and like everybody from top five had that opportunity just me there and uh, just give me that fight and that's it so. and actually such an impressive performance in the last fight put aman in the number four spot in the lightweight division's rankings and now let's talk about the prehistory of his future opponent i'm here to make history i'm here to prove to people that i can you tell me what you 
thought about the fight tonight. A truly inspiring and legendary career of Charles Oliveira began in 2008. Up until his arrival in the world's best league that took place in August of 2010, the Brazilian was undefeated and had a record of 12 and 0. At first, he was competing in the featherweight division, which had a significant impact on his health and physical condition, and given his young age together with everything else, he suffered his first defeats in the promotion. Either way, Du Bronx gained a lot of experience throughout these hard years and toughened up over time. After my daughter was born, my, my mindset just changed completely. I'm here to be the champ, you know, and I train a shoe box as the best striking team in the world. And, you know, my coaches were saying, you get beat up so much in the gym that it's no big deal. They said that I, I, I got a cross that landed and I didn't even feel it. After moving to the lightweight division in April of 2017, Oliveira made timely adjustments and started to get rid of everybody in his way. His signature style consisted of a versatile work in all directions, but of course, the main trump card of Charles is and always was his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Rice Grace is a phenom. Uh, uh, I did my best to stay even to him and I come to here to do my history. By May of 2021, the prospect racked up a streak of eight convincing victories, seven of which resulted in stoppages. At UFC 262, the Brazilian monster officially became the UFC champion. Well, the guy's been on a tear forever. Um, you know, <laughs> timing hasn't worked out as well for him as it has for Michael Chandler. But he finally got here and, uh, you know, always been a dangerous guy, has had some ups and downs in his career. Um, but, you know, talented dude, period. He then it was followed by two successful performances against Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje the permanent representatives of the division's top five of the last years. Hey, there's something missing here. The champion has a name, and it's Charles Oliveira from the Bronx. When there were no more active contenders for the title, the opportunity to contest the promotions championship was given to Islam Makachev, who stopped Charles Oliveira in October of 2022 by a submission choke. You're a fighter, and you know exactly what it's like. Sometimes we're here, and it's not our day. I promise you, I'm gonna get this back. Either way, Du Bronx was not willing to stop and finished Benil Dariush in June of 2023 by a first round TKO. Hello, Vancouver! Hello, Canada! Hi, I'm sorry, my English is little. I thank so much. I've been support. A big fans. Hey, Charles Oliveira, a big champion. The champion is the name. The Charles Oliveira, brother. Yeah, definitely that, that day Charles was better. But I think something happened with Zariush. He didn't look like he used to be. And uh... The long anticipated rematch between the Brazilian and the Dagestani champion was planned for autumn. However, it turned out that Oliveira got cut in the camp and couldn't perform at UFC 294. In the end, Charles kept his number one spot in the rankings and began his recovery while waiting for the news. Next, for UFC 300, number one ranked lightweight Charles Oliveira is taking on number four ranked Armin Sarukian in a number one contender fight. In 2024, after announcing the news about the anniversary event that went viral all over the internet, the world's best league exercised some options, and based on the fact that both fighters are motivated to avenge their losses to Makachev, they decided to put them against each other. And now, we're about to see a roof-tearing clash of two monsters for the right to contest the world championship. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go for this fight. Very excited. I, I, it's not a matter of can, it's a matter of will. Uh, we know it's going to happen. I know I, I am the next one in line for the title. Islam uh, hurt himself last time, but I'm ready. Let's make this happen. Well, Oliveira is definitely in the top five lightweights of all time. Because as of now, he beat all the top fighters except for Islam. And I believe he has the most submission chokes in the lightweight division. Yeah, I already knew and I, I told you guys I want to knock him out and to show a good performance. So, next fight I want to do the same. 
and like knock him out and like get a lot of bonuses and like get my final title fight because it's my time right now. And then yeah. next uh, opportunity have Arman, then he beat Darius. But in my opinion, this was lucky punch. The next fight, if he will fight with Darius, the fight will be a lot different. Uh, we'll see how we how we'll see the fight with uh, uh, Charles Oliveira, but I think he submit him. So excited to beat Charles and then fight for the title. So I know this fight, fight for the contender number one, and uh, for sure I'll be me. I know you prepare for a long fight, but how do you see this one going? This one? Yeah. It's a finish and it feels wrong. First round finish. Yeah. And why, why? What makes you say that? Because I feel it. But talking about Sarukian and Charles Oliveira, I think that's a great fight. In my opinion, that's one of the best fights of UFC 300. And, and I think it's going to be a tough fight for both. Sure. When you look at the guys that are really good at MMA submissions off their back, like Oliveira, Oliveira's oh. real good. Mm -hmm. It's so crisp, though. When yeah. he gets those moments, those openings, just crisp. Yep. Right away. Yeah, he, he finds those arm bars and triangles, and he, he cinches submissions up so quick. <laughs> yeah. So, so quick. One of the quickest guys. I mean, he's does he have the most submissions yeah, in the he history does. of the sport? Yeah, he does. Like he's 20. Just, they're so quick, man. They're so, the, the technique is so smooth. What are your thoughts on the rivalry between Charles Oliveira and Arman Sarukian at UFC 300? Leave your opinion in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new videos and of course, hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. See you soon.